We've talked about how easy it is to spoof other devices on the network. All I need to do is go to my computer and set up a new Mac address or an IP address, and I've shown you how to set up an IP address on your machine, and suddenly you can assume identity of something else. If you know the default gateway, you can assume the identity of the default gateway. Then traffic is gonna be starting to direct towards you, causing a denial of service attack because uh, there are going to be devices that can't get out to the, the internet because all the traffic is being directed your way, or it could allow me to leverage that for a man in the middle attack and be able to see the traffic that's coming across the network. And so there's got to be protections and guards up to protect my network against that. Well, it's the same case with IP addresses. IP addresses are easy to spoof, and so we need something like IP source guard to protect our network. I'm not going to recover MAC address spoofing, but I am going to point out that IP source guard is one of the things that we can do for protecting ourselves against MAC address spoofing. IP address spoofing is also pretty straightforward. I don't need any technical skills. I can just go in, statically assign an IP address, causing a denial of service attack, or allowing me to take on the identity of something else on my network to include something like the default gateway. So it's pretty straightforward. And so one of the ways to combat against this is IP source guard. We've talked about several layer two filtering. We talked about port security, which which filter is based off of the number of MAC addresses or a few other things that we can specify in there, or maybe it's a statically signed MAC address. We also talked about DHCP snooping, which looks into DHCP messages and filters out the bad messages or the messages that are suspected to be bad. We also took a look at dynamic ARP inspection and what dynamic ARP, in, ARP inspection does is take a look at the ARP messages and sees if those need to be filtered out or if they can be forwarded on. And then we also have IP source guard. So IP source guard is just yet the next level of inspection on these frames that are going across these switches. What it's doing is it's taking a look at the IP address and seeing if it's legitimate or it can actually look at the MAC address as well. So it is just the next step and it uses the same process that both DHCP snooping and ARP inspection use in that when we set up DHCP snooping on our network, it creates the DHCP snooping binding database. It's a database of MAC addresses and IP addresses and ports that are associated with those. When we take a look at dynamic ARP inspection, it's looking at the ARP frames that are going across there, the ARP uh, uh, messages that are going across those switches, it's taking a look at those and comparing them to that DHCP snooping binding database. The same thing happens with this IP source guard. It's taking a look at that binding database and seeing if traffic that's coming in from that port has a IP address, a MAC address that makes sense to it. And it can look at all of the traffic with that. So that is IP source guard. So all the frames that are coming from this demo laptop out to the network, maybe out to the outside world, this switch is gonna be analyzing those frames and taking a look at the IP address and matching it up against the binding database to see if it should be coming from that port or not. Obviously, it's looking at the source IP address. We can also look at the MAC address too with that. So that is the IP source guard. All right, this is definitely a shorter video. And the reason is, is because it's using the same concepts that we've already been talking about. We know what spoofing is, so it makes sense about MAC address spoofing or IP address spoofing and what those are. And IP source guard functions is very similar to how our other filtering techniques work. And so this is just yet another step in protecting our network.